Hi, my name is Sean Foster and thank you for visiting my website. This is a shortened version of one of my strategy presentations and my question to you is, so what does it mean to you to have a strategy in place for your business? I've taken this graph from some of Vern Harnish's work because it really does a great job of illustrating the life cycle of a business. It is okay to be a small business, after all that is a relative measure. But let's just acknowledge that 96% of businesses are small. The next sector is the gazelles. These are the businesses that are rapidly growing, again a relative measure. After all, we don't just want growth for the sake of growth, we want profitable sustainable growth. Interestingly, we often refer to these companies, the gazelles, as the overnight successes. Apple is an example. Established in 1976, 25 years later they released the iPod and that was the beginning of the first overnight success. Starbucks, established in 1971. After 20 years they had 100 stores, but only 5 years after that they had over 1000 stores and that was really the beginning of the overnight success. The message is this, it takes time to develop a sustainable success. Maybe you don't have ambitions to be the next Apple or Starbucks, but I know that for most of you, you would like to have a similar claim to success in your own local market. Lastly, we have the elephants. And what happens to the elephants? Often they struggle and collapse under their own weight. Examples include Axon Mobile, Freddie Mae, Toys R Us, Pan Am, Borders, GM, Kodak. What happened to them? What happened to the fraud strategies? So the question is, how do you safely scale a business and avoid becoming an elephant? Firstly, your business needs to have in place the right structure. Where are the areas where you make and lose money in your business, and what are the projects you need to manage in order to keep your business in balance? The great business model is perfect for highlighting these key areas, and I'll discuss them elsewhere in this website. But the glue that truly holds everything together in your great business, and ensures that you're on the straight and narrow, is all about having a well thought through strategy. The model that I've adapted specifically for the SMS sector, that is for companies with a turnover of zero to maybe $20 million, is a SOAP or strategy on a page. If strategy is new to you, I'd like to point out two defining rules that your strategy has to have. Firstly, your strategy only matters if it really matters to your customers. And number two, your strategy has to differentiate you. As you develop your strategy, you need to continually check your progress that you're fitting within these two rules. A strategy needs to be simple, otherwise it will never be followed. But creating a strategy is anything but simple. In fact, even if you have an excellent strategy in place, in the real, real world, this is what you will find happens. This is the lumpiness of a typical business cycle. And if you, if you have been in business for some time, this will probably resonate with you. And it does not matter if you have a strategy in place or not. The, over the next 90 days, generally, there's good visibility about your business. And this is where you manage your 90-day plans with a high level of certainty. But the further our time goes, the more uncertain we are, and as performance is never linear, we are faced with these peaks and troughs. And as in these troughs, the businesses often face bankruptcy, especially if they've consumed all the cash reserves during the prior peak. But the long-term aspirations is having that certainty about achieving your BHAG or your big, hairy, audacious goal. And what pulls you towards your BHAG? It's all about your overarching purpose. So this is a SOAP template that I have created for SMEs. In practice, I found that creating a SOAP takes weeks to months to complete. And the reason for this, it takes time to reflect, discuss, and consider the options, and to then fine tune. But what is key is understanding that there are three main portions of your SOAP. The first bit is all about you. What is your overall purpose, your values, and your longer term vision for the company? This is crucially important because if you get everybody on board, with the bigger picture thinking, then you have the best opportunity of ensuring that everybody is giving 100% of the effort to the business. The middle portion is all about identifying where and how you are going to win in the marketplace. How are you going to be among the top 20% of businesses in your sector, the ones that are making all the profits? The last bit is about your 90 day, 90 day plans. What are the outcomes, projects and activities that you're needing to implement? So what is, what is a possible path forward for you? Have a look at the free resources on this website that will assist you in creating your own business strategy. Also, consider joining the big group, either as a standard or a big plus member. Thirdly, contact me to discuss how we could work together in creating your own strategy. This could be either face-to-face -face or remotely.